quiet little D-side town of Ballater comes into the news every summer. It's the station where the royal family arrive at the beginning of the annual visit to Balmoral. Her Majesty observed the custom of this occasion by inspecting the Guard of Honor provided by the Cameronians. The Lord Lieutenant of Aberdeenshire and the Provost of Ballater wished the Queen and her family a very happy holiday. The four-year-old little Prince Andrew made himself responsible for one of the corgis. Prince Charles and Princess Anne are nowadays very much the grown-up members of the Queen's family. Viscount Lindley, the little son of Princess Margaret, will be one of Prince Andrew's companions at Balmoral. In the charge of his nurse was Her Majesty's baby, Prince Edward, now five months old. A very nice age to be. Anything you want, just yell for. For a few weeks, there'll be a real rest for the Queen. It's the longest spell of privacy she has. We all wish her and her family a very enjoyable holiday. Great progress is being made with the Tay Road Bridge. It's on the seaside of the famous railway bridge and will be a mile and a half long. Work is well up to schedule. If it continues that way, there's every prospect that the bridge itself will be completed two years from now. After that, the approaches from Dundee and the Fife Coast can be finished and road traffic will be very much quickened north and south on the east side of Scotland. One of the great difficulties in bridging the Tay estuary lies in coping with the very strong tides, which often rise and fall 18 feet. Great strides have been made in bridge building since the first railway bridge spanned the Tay. It collapsed while a train was passing over it 85 years ago, three days after Christmas. It will be the longest bridge in Great Britain and is expected to cost three and a half million pounds. It's high time more was heard of this great Scottish achievement, which only first-class engineering makes possible. On the west side of Scotland, news in a lighter vein. A beauty contest to choose the seaside queen. All the resorts on the Clyde coast made their own choice and now they were holding the final. If that wasn't an easy task, it was not one to daunt such good Scotsmen as industrialist Walter Henderson and Provost Christie. Their choice lay between six finalists. The lucky girl was nominated by Troon, 20-year-old Elizabeth McBee. So for the next 12 months, Elizabeth can wear the coveted sash and hold the cup, presented by the Provost, who nobly carried out his duty. Congratulations to Troon on a good choice, to Elizabeth herself and to Glasgow, her home city.